Hey guys, how are you? Good, good, good. We're gonna do a reading. This is gonna be crazy. Oh yes. Okay, so. I've been getting headaches because of how much hair I have. Mm. And for those that don't know, no, that's not a fat roll. That is a smooth ship roll. No, it's not a roll at all, actually. I have the cutest figure ever. But, oh my gosh. Okay, this mane has not... I'm washed in two days okay okay my face is gonna get warm because my blood pressure I mean cuz I feel like it's just up and down up and down up and down but it doesn't really matter No boobies. Okay. So we are going to do a reading. We're going to do a reading basically that's going to talk to the divine. And once we talk to the divine, we're going to pretty much find out what the divine wants me to present as a reader to you. Okay? Okay. And I have a little zip just right there. Teeny little butt guy. He's almost gone um, from my mask, so just ignore it. And then I did a peel, so now everything was peeling off. But it doesn't matter, because I'm adorable with or without my face looking like that to me. I don't need anyone else's approval. So my divine had already talked to me and told me to do this message last night. Or our divine, but you know what I mean. It's just mine. <laughs> so here we are. And as we know, the closer the better, but I don't want to get close and personal. So now I kind of want to just not talk to people because I, unlike most people that are around me, have so much going on in my life besides just running in circles and sleeping in that I don't have time for nitty ditty shit. So here we go. Although I will say I was with just with my best friend and she has four boys as a single mom and she works obviously who can't work and be a single mom, right? And I don't know how the fuck she does it. Ooh, the energy just shifted on that one. So divine, divine, divine. This is going to be a message for all of my watchers that watch my channel. In other words, this is the unicorn tribe. I mean, who doesn't consider themselves a unicorn? <laughs> we live in a world full of delusion. I'm just totally kidding. Universe is like, actually, it's fantasy. Um, you were right. Um, fuck yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, so the divine is like, we're, we're on it. We are on it like a fat kid on cake. <laughs> so... Not mine. I'm so territorial. Oh my gosh, I'm learning this. Like, what? Why is it yours? Me, me, me. Maybe I've been around people like that too much. Wow, that was weird. Mine, 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 mine. Go, go, birds. Okay, so let's see. Divine. <laughs> wow, that's adorable. Thank you, Divine. What is the message that I'm supposed to be giving my crew here? What like, this reading is all about? What am I supposed to do here as a reader when they watch my readings? <laughs> it's like, oh, we'll just have you read your soul. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, my daddy always told me this girlfriend. Sorry. For those that are not shining your light, shine your light. That's what my dad always said, Mr. Cappy. Baby girl, your job is just don't say anything. 
you know, to people that are mean. Just go shine your light. If they're mean, they can't handle you, they don't have any light. Leave them alone. My dad has told me that my whole life. My grandparents, like, I was known as the little girl that could not stop smiling. And then I'd try to bring home puppies at any fair <laughs> that we go to. We used to go to a place called Salmon Days every year. And I would, every time, try to bring a plumber in, you know, <laughs> try to convince them. Divine. I fucking love my divine team. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over a couple. <laughs> I want to cry. They just know me so well. Um, so um, we're going to do a couple different decks and just see what the decks have to say. Okay. We're going to do a couple different dicks here and decide what all the dicks think about what I do for them. Okay. <laughs> so for those that know um, me through watching fuck off for the people that know me personally because you guys are not people that can identify except for one of you and that is my emperor Aries best friend and you guys have seen him on here yeah I was gonna say I don't think my other friends there watch okay so sorry for the set you guys but you know what we're practicing it does not fucking matter if I have a zit on my face I'm still rowdier and cooler than fuck anyways what we're here for Often you'll find when we ironically watch my videos through, there's a lot of hidden secrets um, because I always, I channel, so I say what I need to say. Um, not all of you watch it all the way through. I get it, especially the people that only want to hear what they want to hear because those are the people that live on, you know, denial island, Okay. I am a shadow worker, so for people that believe in dark magic, witchcraft, and all of that shit, you will not like me. Um, ironically, because you guys try to learn to work with the shadow, in other words, the book of shadows, uh, my job is mastering the shadow. So, in other words, my spiritual crew, in other words, the people that follow and actually learn from me are going to actually whip your ass when it comes to any of that shit. Not only that, they're going to be able to hand it to you and show you who you really are, which is going to actually make your energies turn against you. Um, and it basically takes Wicca culture and breaks it down into a way where it gets demolished. <laughs> Now, I will say we will have to deal with, like, little annoying encounters and maybe a lot of shitty people coming at you. Like, you guys know, I still have to deal with shitty people that steal from me in these things. But the reality is, is I can also manifest and create anything that I want within three months. Except for if someone is toxic, for instance, love, you cannot manifest that shit back because that shit does not exist. Until one masters their shadow, and then that other person would have to master their shadow, and then it essentially could exist. Okay? We also are people that completely rise above the 3D. There is no darkness within light, which means in all darkness, I can rebirth and push through and create all of my anger and shadow and ego and fear, along with my tribe we can create essentially whatever we want knowing that it's hard work and discipline and routine and when it becomes a part of our being it gets easier and easier to create inevitably whatever we want often enough when we're done doing most of the hard work and we're trying to understand and know what am i supposed to do for me now it's really this easy as adults we've learned to rely more on our masculine sun side and or our negative moon side on the reverse aspect of whatever that is so whatever that sign is check it reverse and you'll find out for instance you know what i mean what that means for you for instance if you're a sagittarius moon and a taurus sun right your Taurus would be more your masculine persona within yourself. And your Sagittarius, which means you'll always have higher sight. When you're on a negative vibe of Sagittarius, you, you are capable of choosing to ignore the reality of the truth. Period. But the point is, 
you know the reality of the truth. Therefore, since you know it, the universe will keep putting these annoying fucking daily obstacles in your life until you change them, and then you'll just think the whole world is out to get you. But the reality is, is you know the truth. Get off your ass and fix it. Okay? Okay. What I'm here to do is to help you claim your art. For those that do not know how, what does that mean? That means when you're done with all the hard shit, and you're moving forward, let's just say the kids are out and you don't know what to do and I spent my whole life surviving and trying to make it I'm scavenge like like us that work our fucking asses off in life do because we don't just rely on people serving us. Here's money every month. Here, here. Why don't you just take from me? We actually get off our asses and do shit, right? We create things that actually have a foundation. And when we do that, we realize that we have to take our childlike little heart that has been strapped onto, you know, trucks and shit and pulled through. And we need to take the hand of it, walk it through, and remind ourselves that at once we were that child. It's our job to take care of ourselves and our heart child needs. And in order to do that, we know as individuals to become strong and believe in yourself, you have to have self-discipline. If you don't have self-discipline, of course, you're never going to be happy with yourself or anything around you. You can't even be happy with disciplining yourself enough to just have any capability of even being able to control yourself. Therefore, you just exist as a blob on this world. But whatever. We're not there for these people, okay? I'm also here for you to understand what faith is, to be able to work hard enough on something to find out that the more you do it, the more it becomes your lifestyle and the more you literally see every door opening up no matter how many doors are falling, okay? I'm here also, again, to understand when we're aspecting our shadow to accept what is dying, in other words, to realize when people are never going to fix themselves. I'm here to explain to you how to overcome, look forward, focus on what we need to be patient about as we're looking forward. Again, how many times am I saying we're sitting here looking forward, being patient, counting our blessings when we feel like these things are not adding up? And all of this together? How many fucking times do I always say this, you guys? And this is the card showing, reiterating that if we do something different and we correct our mistakes of the past, present, and future... And we grieve our shadow losses from our past by reevaluating the priorities and relevance from the past, which allows us to essentially change tracks of which the old patterns were. We're going to be able to strengthen our gifts. Now, in order to strengthen our gifts, we have to do things in moderation. We do have to focus on the success at hand, which is what our success is, not from, you know, other people taking, 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 you know, little baby drug addicts running around. We need to learn that we need to go with the flow of the universe in order to build solid ground. Control freaks are not allowed on the spiritual realm, period. Spiritual, I mean, you can't be a control freak and be a spiritual person. You, you're too much in control that you couldn't hear spirit if they were standing bloody fuck in front of you. You'd be like, I can't control this. I don't know what's happening. And they'd be like, well, you need to walk away from that. And then you'd try to negotiate with spirit. That's control and spirit are not even on the same. You are 3D. If you're a control freak, you are 3D. Period. That's a statement. If you don't like it, why don't you go find so much research to convince me otherwise? Because... Why don't you open your own channel? Or why don't you actually just spend that energy and do something for yourself? Because that's someone that's uneducated and honestly just runs their mouth without any sort of education to back it up. We're here to forgive and forget people that are going through their own tribulations. No matter how much that affects us and hurts us. Meaning no matter how much they take from you, it's your job to get on your fucking horse and move forward. 
How do you do that? By being decisive in exactly what you want and choosing your friends wisely. Realizing that when people show you who they are, you need to fucking be decisive and make choices for yourself. You can still love someone from very afar. That doesn't mean you have to be around them. And we're here for those that are not engaging in higher understanding and reason to engage in higher reason. Why? Because I'm subconsciously... You guys are literally, like, I'm literally so connected to divine. I have a fucking dot on my fucking imprinted from other lifetimes. Anyways, some of you aren't going to believe that. In that or believe that. For those that don't believe it, that's okay. You don't believe in anything. You don't even believe in spirit. You believe in TikTok. So why don't you go and watch that and follow that for your life? It seems to be bringing you places, right? All the latest trends, but never a drop. So, let's look at the unicorns. Divine spirit, unicorns, please let my tribe know what I am here for. When I'm here to communicate and why I'm here. And also... Okay, that is a lot of things. That's all things we're supposed to be releasing. <laughs> They're as literal as me. I'm sorry. Okay, we're only keeping one. And then I'm going to shuffle again. We're here to make magic, wishes, and believe in miracles. Magic surrounds you. In other words, we don't need magic because we realize magic is an energy, and energy is fluent of absolutely everything. Therefore, when you master energy, which is in everything, again, you guys, this is not a fat world. This is just literally, I am that literally hourglass curve. Literally, I have like a 22, like 40-something and 40-something. Um... And even if it was flab, fuck anyone that judges. Um, and no, I mean, you wouldn't even get the honor of fucking, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I'd rather be a flubby fucking girl than a fucking stick. But then I also don't want to say anything in sticks because my poor mom is a stick figure and she wishes she is tatas. You know what I mean? Like, so we all got our shit. But... There's someone that critiques on here or someone that's so obsessed with how they look that I don't even want to go there. Move on. I'm here to you, allow you to set yourself free from your shadow so you realize that at the end of the day, all these things that you consider aspected as difficult or things that you're uncomfortable with or don't understand, I'm supposed to be here to help you understand them. By understanding, once you understand them and learn how they work, and allow yourself the freedom of not hating yourself so much when they become such an obstacle for you. By accepting it, we can then work through it together to be able to basically, I mean, it won't become a problem anymore. You'll be like, oh, fuck, that's my shadow. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm kind of inflaming an ego a little bit right now because I'm feeling a certain way. I'm here to allow you to see that the abundance is literally just created. Literally, you don't need anyone. People can strip you dry. For me, I've never seen so many people steal money from me in my life, but guess what? And now I just found out how much money I have in a different with someone else. So it's just like, wow. You know what I mean? The divine will not allow this abundance to be taken. It will allow cycles to... <laughs> that was weird. It will allow cycles to be ended. I almost just said that, but then I'm like, turn. you are not going on a tangent. It will allow cycles to be ended for your own basic success. Everything has its right time on the cycles of your body. Tune in to the moon's magic. As we do know, I'm... I don't even know. I am considered an indigo child. I don't even... I don't... I don't not believe in that. I just don't identify with... I identify with us as being, you know, energetic products of God for me. But it doesn't matter. We're energetic beings. Okay. We don't need my clothes to be off. I'm trying to be conservative today. Um, I'm here 
popularity integrate your shadow side there can be no light without darkness understand the laws of popularity boom do my decks not know me look at all my dicks know me so well and yeah i said dicks because i always for some reason still want to say dicks instead of decks it literally took a conscious awareness for like a month for me to be like make sure i don't say that so now i'm kind of saying that like funny because it is kind of funny the way now i have control over it but at first i didn't so we're understanding that dark and light we actually are understanding that you could get mad like this dark person in other words 3d person and yeah 3d someone that doesn't know higher guidance when you are 3d when you do wicca when you do spell when you do any of that any sort of magic ouija any of that you are functioning on the 3d period you might try to break into the 5G or 5D. 5G is internet, by the way. So no, we're not talking about new technology. But 5D, what I try to get you guys to, well, quite frankly, I function on a whole nother level. Like there's, but we're not even going there because that's my gift and who I am. That's not necessarily what we're all here to do. Do you know what I mean? Um, which is fine because I need other people that are not on that level to be able to bring me in and we work together, right? And then I bring in, it's a, right? We'll just go from there. Yeah, I'm just gonna thank you, Spirit, for letting me. Thank you. Please explain to my tribe what I'm here to do for them, divine unicorns. Oh, abundance again. They're like, literally, she will get you. Everything you wanted more. You guys are so sweet. Don't make me cry. You're so sweet. Oh. So for those that are angry, just people around you, people in general, the victims of the world, the people that know they back themselves up in corners, find it humorous as if it's like a joke that they can just sit and live their life scotch free. I'm fucking idiots. I'm sorry. I can't, I don't deal with 3D anymore, period. Um, for those that don't know, I don't give a fuck if you think I mean. Fuck off, Felicia's. I never asked you to be here and fuck off, Karen. I don't want you to be here either. No one needs to be here that doesn't work as hard as me because all my divine tribe, we know how hard we work and we do not need fucking Karen's and Felicia telling us otherwise, period. Action. And it would be that Felicia's and Karen's that would run their mouth which do so much running in circles in their life, right? Right. So it looks like we have action and anger reverse. Anger, safely expressing your anger, you're using it a positive force. In other words, like we talk about in shadowing, when we are reacting out of our, well, masculine vibe, which is our sun, which makes sense, right? Because our 3D is connected to our, okay, here's a lesson for all that do not know. Again, even though I've said it, in so many different ways action now is the perfect time to act take inspirational action forward to your dreams and move forward with confidence the only way to be able to do that is to be able to control your anger the only way you can control your anger is say okay and this is this is my ego so this this is why you guys know that I'm such a loving care bear when I'm pissed though and you hear me go oh I want to and I'm like I can't you know why because that's the twins my masculine vibe is Gemini. So the twins. So not only do I have that, I have two egos that have to be balanced with the soul of a Scorpio moon. Fucking petrifying. Right? So if I can balance myself, then you sure as fuck can balance yourself. But what I've also learned is when I get angry and when I break, because of how balanced I am, that person's an unhealthy motherfucker, and I need to get the fuck away from them. I've realized that now. At this day of my life, I get it. Period. But sometimes, you know, we feel like we need to keep doing whatever to... Oh, it's passive aggressiveness. That's what they're trying to do to sell fear so one becomes passive aggressive, move forward.
When we revolve and or respond out of anger, it's out of your sun sign. That's your masculine persona. That is your 3D persona. Period. So, if you look at your sun and you look at the negative attributes to your sun, that is where your fears and your ego and your control and your reaction and your anger and your shadow comes from. Wow, mind blown, right? Now, on the positive attributes of that sign is what people see of you. That is not who you are, bitches. Do not get confused. That is how you fake it till you make it. The soul is your moon. So mine would be, depending upon, Libra, Scorpio. Right? Balance, shadow. Balance, shadow. In other words, balancing the twins and or balancing the chaos and or balancing my shadow from responding in a way that doesn't allow me to grow in any aspect. Why? Because I can project on people. I can actually literally eat people alive if I really want to. But A, anyone that has Scorpio in them has the power of creating so much fucking karma in their lifetime, it's disgusting, first of all. And not only that, they have the gift of creating karma on other people's. Why? The gift of projection. And that's not okay with me because I'm here to move forward, celebrate, and move through the cycles and patterns and realizing at the end of the day when I master those things and take action towards what I want everything else seems to disappear and all the anger and bitterness goes away because I use all of that anger and shadowy fiery shit and I actually use it to actually create shit instead of take people from take people from shit or take shit from people Raise your standards, elevate your expectations, you have unlimited potential. Has that reading not literally just been everything that I've said? We're going to drop the deck and see where it lands. Again, I'm here to balance the people that need to be balanced. Do not worry about fixing stupid who goes around and around on the insanity train. Get the fuck over it and move past them. They will never be fixed. And I'm here, last but not least, discernment. All is not what it seems. Stay true to knowing and keeping your dreams a secret. That's my life. And miracles. And flow. Okay. Okay. So now I'm gonna tap in. Thank you. Divine, divine, divine. You are so funny. Why do you keep wanting to come to me? It's like everything wants to like. <laughs> My friend's gonna die soon. So divine. Let's tap into the fairy godmother deck. Let's talk about what am I here to do for my vibe, for my peeps. Okay. What am I here to do for my vibe, for my peeps? Um, what the card that just came out is basically to teach people not to overtake, which means, um, are you basically just living life to drink and to have and to hoarder? That's what just came out. Identity in reverse. I'm here for people to understand who they truly are um, as well. Identity is huge. 
Um, so the world has their 3D idea of identity, and we can blame all of that on um, the 3D people, A, our own sons, but we can also blame that on earth signs, and that is a true fact. And tropical earth sign is the reason we have all this bullshit. Moving on. Identity. I'm here to help people understand who they truly are as people. Understand why you ended up the way you are if you do not like it. Why you cannot express yourself if you do not like it. And I'm here, I literally have the gift of reading your soul. Now can I fix you if you don't want to get fixed? No. I realized fire signs are quite frankly a piece of shit when they're in their karmic shadows. Especially earth signs I want nothing to do with anymore. I will never date an earth sign. I will only stick with water for the rest of my life and maybe air. Done. Um, but, yeah, so peace off, Felicia's. Um, especially once I don't know how to communicate. Fuck you. Like, I don't need to be with a child. <laughs> As you've seen, I do not need any, any help. Um, I'm here to basically have you be able to look at yourself in the mirror and be able to understand why you still go in the same cycle. So for those people that are like, I don't believe in love, it doesn't exist, I can't find it. Well, bitch, that's because you are a masculine persona and you're looking for a man, but you're the man in a relationship and you can't look at yourself and know that about yourself. Therefore, you're going to blame the world for your problems and you're also probably really strong an earth sign. Just saying. Okay? Moving on. An earth sign is going to take this personal. I already know. Exactly. So laughter in reverse for... When people want you to look in the mirror, see how they're both looking in the mirror, I'm here to have yourself, you, yourself, look in the mirror at yourself, at the good and bad attributes, and to be able to realize that at the end of the day, we're all fucking insane on our fear and ego, and you can't, you could spend five hours getting ready, but your heart is still the same fucking heart, period. You can paint a face all day long, but all that means is, well... Quite frankly, you're really a shallow person that spends more time getting ready than actually identifying with you who you truly are, or you spend a long time trying to cover up who you truly are because you can't identify with yourself, period. Deep, right? I'm a deep bitch. That's, that's what I do. That's all I do. That's all I know. So I obviously understand not everyone can handle death too, especially 3D fucking fritters. I get that. Feel free to see your way off my channel, and I do, will never be on your level. It is not what I want. It is not what I do. Period. And abundance. I'm here to inevitably, through so much work, that you literally have to break down and be like my people that leave comments saying how much it hurts. You have to be hurt to be able to be angry and sad enough to grow and to break it. If you're hurt where you sit in denial island and you don't do anything and you just go in circles and every other day is going to be a different fucking day and maybe this week I'll do good and then this week I'll sleep and then this week I'll, you know, jump through hoops and then this week I'll work 12, 15 hours and that's not, con that's not a lifestyle. That's a, that's, you're insane and you're on this delusional uh, autopilot and I think you probably think the world sees you differently. I guess maybe the world that just sees you in stores and stuff. I don't know. I don't understand that. Um, yeah. I'm also here when it comes to abundance to stop being fickle about things and just to understand. This is what you need to do to get there. There's not a confusion. There's no... And also, I mean, not gonna lie, when you do kind of kick it the way that I kick it, I mean, you pretty much make 3D fritters look like <laughs> fucking pieces of shit on the side of the pavement, but... They are. <laughs> they are. There's the gum on the pavement that just makes it sticky to move and to evolve and to grow into what you could be because they're just living in this essential little island full of stuff because they don't know how to create it themselves. Exactly. The divine does. So for all you earth people, it's important. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm he here to essentially teach you how to stop being fickle, how to have knowledge in taking an adventure and trusting the fact that you will be blindly guided by faith, um, but also you will have more riches than any person around you, essentially. Um, and also, 
it's really important if you choose to stay in situations if you choose to stay in situations that no longer serve you then you need to move forward through them if you choose to stay in them you need to accept them find new ways of dealing with them but you will find when the divine has been trying to show you a way to move forward and you've been just too chill in a sense um the divine will shift it and you will have to move forward period um and the fickleness will no longer be allowed why because that was the vine literally saying, okay, you need to move forward. And I know that you're getting, you know, doing what you're doing and trying to learn different aspects of dealing with it. But if the divine takes it, ends it, or makes it where it's like, fuck, no, you need to move forward. Do not be standing up there, you know, on a building. And then God says, you know, brings you a bow and you're like, no, I'm good. I'll wait for God. And then, like, we got, like, an airplane coming in, and you're like, no good. I'm waiting for God, you know, and it's the end of the world, and there's apocalypse. And then all of a sudden, like, God comes and is like, what are you doing? And you're like, I was waiting for you. And I'd be like, I sent you so much help. You know, we need to make sure we understand where is our balance. Period. Where's our boundaries? Boundaries is something I'm really having to go through, Okay. And then let's do one more deck, even though my phone might die, but this is going to get really deep, but this is good. You guys need to know how deep I am, and you're going to see through the cards what cards I pull for myself, essentially. So you know, for all you motherfuckers that are like, oh, that's probably her energy. No, bitch. It's your energy. And if you're new, that's not you. That's the people that know me, that watch me. That's what I'm talking about. So again, my gift is to be able to have sight on people's wounds, their shadows. I can see right through who the person is. So like I just said, did I not literally just said for the bitches that think they know me? What now, bitch? What can you do? What can... Mmm, I want to say so much already. I'm just like, fuck you. I'm saying that to myself because it's like, put that fucking... Sybil needs to be put away. I'm here to basically help you. You got sacrifice and expectations. Um, when you choose to sacrifice your expectations and you don't have any expectations, period, because you realize that people put expectations on people based on their own wounds and their own shadows and their own traumas and their own small-minded perceptions of 3D fritterness. Because I've never met anyone as spiritual as me. And I know they're out there. Um, but I treat people on different spiritual wavelengths than others do and all is perfect within itself but anyways um well i was thinking actually because actually i'm like really fucking yeah smart like yeah someone i know basically their grandma died she had a whole bunch of spiritual people go up to the tall mountain all the way in it's like Egypt, some foreign place or something. And they literally told her something that I told her when I was getting my eyelashes worked on in a bed. Like, that's how fucking psychically I can literally imagine myself in places to see what I need to see. But I do not believe in lucid dreaming. I do not do that. Obviously, we know I transfer the dead when I sleep and I don't have time for any of that shit. Moving on. I'm here to help people realize when they sacrifice and release their traumas and their wounds and their expectations on who they're supposed to be, who they're, you know who you tell yourself you're supposed to be, who you don't allow yourself to be, all these boxes that you put yourself in based on the people around you, um, that is your own side of yourself. Whether you choose to be around people that allow you and make you feel that way, whether you choose to be in situations, whether that's been all these things that are happening and more, et cetera, et cetera. 
It is what it is. I'm here to help you see it, move on past it, and grow through it. To help you be, to liber, liberation, um, to free you. If you want to free yourself. Some people are so sick they don't want to free themselves. Because they're in a delusional state of mind where they think they have power of hurting people. Or it's kind of like, it's the mind, it's delusional. Um, but the mind is very smart. And the reason it does this, like sociopaths and whatnot... Um, and this is why I do have a soft spot for sociopaths, but I do realize, um, so it's so much deeper than that. So I can't really get on that little topic. Um, it's medically, your brain starts to, it's chemically altered so much by man, honestly, that it literally has allowed the brain to be sociopathic. So although it's interesting on the The 5D realm of which is the way the brain plus actually, no, yeah, current. Of the way that they basically live in a state of mind of being able to create things that are so consistently consistent. There is an actual, that's never mastering your shadow. Therefore, you never can actually, You're all, they're always going to stay self-imprisoned by their own ignorance and choice. Which inevitably makes them the weakest of them all. Does that kind of make sense? I hope so. That's really deep. I get it. It's just who I am. I don't know how to make myself any less deep. This sight. The sight of ingenuity. Um, this is really important to me. Um, I'm all about genuineness. That's purely who I am. I am the most genuine person. Period. I don't give a fuck. And I do not need to give a fuck. And I do not give a fuck what any Karen or Felicia says. My moral compass is stronger and genuineness for who I am as a person than anyone I've ever met. And if you have the balls to steal from me, of all people in the world, and you actually have the audacity to look at yourself and consider yourself a good person, you are in the most denial and delusionist state of mind. No one can help you. And in my eyes, you're mentally sick and ill. Period. Wounds and expectations of other people are going to be put on us our whole entire life. It's up to us to understand the balance of them and understand that we can liberate and satisfy ourselves by sacrificing the relationships that no longer guide us in a direction that is delusional. I do not give a fuck how much you care about someone. If this is the state of mind that they live in and they cannot even look at themselves in the mirror, then you need to move forward. That is a statement. It's called connecting with the motherfucking divine, bitches. It is not that hard. Right? And all that means is you gotta be an original, integrated person that is genuine. So you can see the ingenuine people that are around you. Ingenuineness better be a memory of the people that are around you. And all I gotta say is if someone literally steals from you and you are that person they've they're they're literally possessed in a sense by the devil. There is such dark energy around them. That's going to be the same fucking dumb. Thank you. I just got told voice reverse. Stop talking. Okay. I'm here to awaken the people that are sleeping in their lives. And that are choosing to battle with people that do not deserve even any sort of participation. And any sort of ambition. Because at the end of the day, the truth shall sh set us free. And if those people want to consider themselves good people and not being truthful, honest, and awake, that is not our problem. They can stay on the 3D fritter mine of confusion and delusion and live in a fantasy for the rest of their life. I swear in my life, they will breed what they are 
and it will come back tenfold worse or they will leave what they are and choose to grow but I'm at the point in my life where I realize there's a certain thing in people when you see you need to trust it and walk away because we're as individuals on this 3d world are not strong enough and capable enough to be able to fix that only the divine is and that's not up to us whether the divine has the fixes them thank you so much for being here i love and appreciate you guys i hope you liked the video that taught you a little about me and what i'm here to do peace bye bitches